in science, we know that models are only as good as the data we put into them. So just how far would researchers at the University of Chile go to learn about how dinosaurs may have walked? Researchers certainly can't study living dinosaurs. To do so, we need to turn to their nearest living ancestor, the chicken. <laughs> we might not know why the chicken crossed the road, but we now know how it would strut across the road with a dinosaur tail. The nerdy professor tell me how to figure it out. Science is not my jazz, but you're, you're hilarious. Experimenting is your thing, and we'll love to try and learn. The nerdy professor making science fun again. So is there a link between chickens and dinosaurs? First, are chickens modern descendants of dinosaurs? The idea that birds descended from dinosaurs isn't new. Fossil studies have long suggested that modern birds descended from T. rex based on similarities in their skeletons. Biologist and anatomist Thomas Henry Huxley raised the question in his 1870 treatise titled, Further Evidence of the Affinity Between the Dinosaurian Reptiles and Birds. Huxley saw little difference between the bone structure of Comsignathus, a dinosaur no bigger than a turkey, and Archaeopteryx, which was discovered in Germany a few years earlier. Beyond the mere visual observations, a group at Harvard led by Chris Organ and John Asara reportedly extracted collagen from a 68 million year old Tyrannosaurus rex and confirmed that T. rex shares common ancestry with indeed chickens. <laughs> These bits of protein obtained from the T-Rex connective tissue provided the first molecular evidence for the evolutionary relationship of non-avian dinosaurs. They weren't able to recover dinosaur DNA, so don't expect to visit Jurassic Park anytime soon. <laughs> they were, however, able to obtain just a few proteins from the T-Rex and enough to establish this relationship with modern day chickens. So how did dinosaurs walk? How did the T-Rex walk? Now that we verified the link between dinosaurs and chickens, back to the research at hand. Just how did dinosaurs walk? Bruno Grassi and colleagues at the Universidad de Chile were looking into just that to study and understand how bipedal dinosaurs moved as they stomped across the Mesozoic landscape. They turned up the closest living relative, the chicken. <laughs> but there's one major problem with this connection. There's a big difference between most modern birds and the great land-bound dinosaurs that we know so well. Dinosaurs had tails. They had massive tails. But don't think for one second that this stopped our friend Bruno Grassi. Oh no, not at all. This research group was not playing chicken. To create a model for how dinosaurs may have walked, they had to give a chicken a dinosaur tail. And that's exactly what Grassi and his colleagues did. Building on research earlier performed by Matt Carano, now a scientist at the Smithsonian Institute, Grassi and his colleagues bought a bunch of chickens. A third of these chickens were allowed to ro roam wild and free, just as they were. A third of these chickens had a mass strapped to the center of the back. And the last third of these chickens had wooden tails mounted on modeling clay and attached to Velcro jackets that fit on their hind ends. Hopefully they strapped plungers <laughs> onto chicken butts. The chicks began wearing their wooden tails or equivalent weights on their back three days after hatching. And the tails and weights were switched out for new ones every few days to adjust for the weight of the chicken. 15% of the chick's body weight were either in the tail or on the weight in the back. As the chicks grew, they reportedly adapted quickly to their tails or their weights. Moving around and interacting with other birds with absolutely no problem. However, all three groups moved markedly different from one another. Chicks with tails shifted their weight forward, causing the thigh bone to become more vertical 
and the source of the movement shifted from the knee joint to the hip joint. In short, adding a tail made the chicken's movement less bird-like and more dinosaur-like. Putting a tail on a chicken can't tell us what happened in evolution to turn a dinosaur stride into the chicken strut, but it does show that the tail changes the center of gravity and alters the walking gait. It is indeed an important proof of concept and helps scientists understand how posture, bone shape, and movement can all relate. Again, models are only as good as the data you put into them. To get that data, sometimes you have to put some plungers on a bunch of chicken butts and watch them strut around. It's all in the name of science. <laughs> it looks like chickens deserve a little more respect.